Uh. Hi. I'm sorry, that was weird. That was very weird. I don't really have much of anything to say. You know, I do like a little bit in the beginning before the intro. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If the day is not going good, I hope tomorrow is better. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Or subscribe. Thank you for your loyalty. The time has come. The time has finally come. And honestly, those who are tuning in with me on Instagram, y'all already got a head start. Y'all already been placing y'all orders. I didn't know it was wanted this bad. But after this comment, and this comment, and this comment, and, and that, I hope I'm doing this right. I'm trying to do like the whole editing thing. Like I hope they want it. I pretty much after all these comments asking for me to finally drop some presets, I did it. Somebody just ordered the preset as I'm doing the, I'm not, not even joking, bro. I actually can't see if y'all can see. You feel me? Orlando Chavez. Listen, I appreciate the order. What the, no, that, that's a crazy coincidence though. That, I like I just said, y'all been going crazy, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I've been being asked to drop presets for a minute. There's been a bunch of, after that one video that blew up on my channel, blew up, though how I edit my sports photography videos, everyone's asking, oh, what preset do you use a preset? And in that video, I clearly stated that I used a Peter McKinnon preset. I just downloaded his presets just to get some type of guidance as to a way to edit my, my photos. And I completely, for real, I don't, I don't use them anymore. I stopped using them about a year ago because I completely changed up exactly what all of them are. It's a whole thing. Um, but I showed you guys a little bit of that in my most recent football editing photo video. And even in that video, I was asked, can you drop a preset? Can you drop a preset? I'm, I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna drop a preset. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a pack of presets and we just gonna go with it. And I did not think it was gonna do this well. I really didn't. The preset pack consists of 10 presets. I do plan on dropping another preset pack probably sometime next year, a little bit more in-depth presets with a lot more uh, editing effects as to different things you can do in Lightroom. Just a little more in-depth, but for this one, these are just my go-to editing styles and they're just really meant to help guide you into a direction when it comes to creativity for editing your photos. It's meant for any type of skill level. If you're just getting the photos, you're just getting to really using Lightroom and editing photos, or you just wanna, you know, get a little bit more creativity or a little more spark in your brain on different ways you can edit your photos. That's what this preset's for. In this video, we're just gonna be going over how I use the preset and the best way that you can use them. You can use them however you want. There are a couple that are meant for specific things and I stated them clearly in the title of the, you know, the preset, but there's a couple of them that you can use freely in whichever way you would like to. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right on the computers, jump right on Lightroom and get us using these presets. So we are over here on Lightroom. As y'all can see, I have my presets open to the right side. I'm not gonna lie, my presets are all over the place uh, because it's just a whole bunch of presets in here and I had to test my presets a couple times so you'll see duplications of them at the whole thing. But we're just gonna get into it. I have a couple photos set up here that I wanna go ahead and uh, test for you guys to show you exactly how you can use the presets in many different ways and then the specific ones on specific situations of where you should use them. I'm just gonna go in the order of which the pictures are. So as you can see right here, I have a media day that I just did for Eastside Soccer, obviously, for this one, you would wanna go with the media day, black backdrop, dramatic, whatever the case may be. You're gonna to wanna to go with that. So, so if I click on this backdrop now, this is how it looks. This is not how I want it to look. So what I have already done in the first one that you see black backdrop, I've already adjusted the settings to this specific shoot. That's one thing that I definitely wanna go ahead and make sure that it's drilled into y'all head. Each one of these presets may not work exactly how you want it to for your shoot. So you will have to adjust them based off of the situation. This is just supposed to give you like some direction. So it's kind of like the auto setting, right? But you know, sometimes you click auto, it leads you in the right direction, but you have to adjust a couple things. This is the same exact way. So what I did, because right, I don't want the background, I don't want the lights to look like this. So right, if I click Control Z, I go back and I click on the first one, you'll see the difference, right? And already automatically you'll see the eyes, the face, everything starts to smooth out how I want it to because that's the way I set up this preset currently. Just to show you guys everything exactly what the preset has, I'm gonna go back to the first one and show you piece by piece what it does. It doesn't really do too, too much. It's just the exposure on the front end. It doesn't do too, too nothing too crazy, right? Lowers the blacks a little bit, lowers the shadows a little bit, ups the exposure just a slight bit. I don't do anything with the point and curve. Um, vibrance, texture. Texture and clarity are probably the two biggest things. The clarity is one of the bigger things right here, and I keep it here. You could go a little bit of dehaze. I would say bring this down, bring it up. It all depends on your situation, right? And the one thing that I did want to add to this, but I didn't, because it's like it's already a black backdrop, so I probably wouldn't do much, is the vig 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 viganity, whatever, whatever, okay? I wanted to add a little bit of that. You can add it, but once again, it's based off of your shoot. It doesn't do, because it, when it's too dramatic, it's too dramatic, but it can still add a little bit of flavor to your shot but i just felt as though 
it would be used more less than not. So I didn't want to put a setting on there that everybody just had to continuously keep changing. So I just left it out. So now if we go here, this is the, the kicker that kind of makes things a little bit simpler for people. I go ahead and I bring the subject forward by making the subject brighter by up in the, uh, the exposure a little bit, up in the shadows a little bit, up in the highlights a little bit. And then I, what well, I pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And then I go ahead and the background, I do the very opposite. So I make it darker. I bring the highlights down, I bring the shadows down, I bring the exposure down, I bring the blacks down, I bring the whites down, I bring the texture down so that, uh, I don't know what type of backdrop you may be using, but you want your backdrop to have a lot of, uh, you want it to be very blurry. So I, I lower the texture a little bit and I leave it at that. Now on the preset that I changed, because I'm shooting females, they're a little bit more, they're a little bit more cautious about the way their skin looks and some of them may have all makeup or something like that for their media day. So I do skin retouches. But if you did want to add that to this preset, it's very simple. Go to people, create masks, go to people. Once you go to the subject, once they figure out the subject, literally all you have to do, face. And if you want, you can also do body skin. I did. So you go to face, body skin, create. I, I showed this before, but I'll show it again smooth skin simple right and you adjust it's literally just your texture and clarity and you adjust it if you want it a little bit more if you want it smoother you go down you want it a little a little more textured you bring it up simple as that cool moving on to the next preset okay just to make it simpler i'm just going to also go in the order of the white backdrop um i don't have anything too recent this is just last year's cheerleading photos for north tech so we're going to go right here and go to the white backdrop we go to the bottom one, we click on it, it's very simple. The white backdrop, it's just like the black backdrop, brings the subject forward, it, it makes the, the backdrop look a, more, a little more wider, tries to get rid of a little bit of shadows, but you can still see them on the ground, simple. Once again, these are for simple backdrop photo shoots, black and white, keep it as that, right? Okay, moving on. Honestly, this is a photo that we can use any preset for, but just to show you guys the one that I use in the thumbnail, uh, tunnel vision, right? So tunnel vision is your normal black and white, but it's a little bit more, it's a little extra touch to it. So this is what the preset looks like now, but if I do control Z and I go to just normal black and white, I don't know if you guys can tell the differences, right? So this is normal black and white, this is tunnel vision. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like this is, it, it's, a, it's a black and white, but it's a lot more contrast to it. It's a lot more texture to it. It's a lot more life to a black and white photo. And that's what you want. You don't want your black and white photo to just look like you drained the saturation. That's kind of, it's boring, it's booty. You don't really want that. So this adds a whole lot more texture to your black and white photo, adds a whole lot more life. And it looks like there's a story to tell. I'll use another example where, okay, this is already an edited photo, uh, but whatever. We're just gonna throw tunnel vision over it. Boom, hold on, wait till it load. My computer's slow. Boom, you feel me? We locked in. Like this, this preset is beautiful for a locked in photo, but it can work with almost anything. We got those three out the way, right? Now we're at this basketball photo here. We have one basketball specific preset and I, or two technically. This is the indoor basketball, right? Okay, that's the only, that's what I named it, indoor basketball. You see, this is how it looks. It's pretty nice, pretty dope. It looks really, really, it looks really, really clean. It looks good. The main thing I want you to focus on when doing this is going to the color mixer. Make sure that you are doing, make sure that you are changing the colors based off of the team that you are shooting for. The colors that I chose, because I'm shooting for North Tech, is purple, so I up the purples. Let's say you're shooting for a team that's blue, right? The blue team in the background. You up the blues, right? You make the blues look a lot more, you know, blue. That's pretty much how you would want to do that, right? But for me, in my case, it's purple because I'm shooting for North Tech. So I just want you guys to understand that. So I don't want you to be shooting for a team that's red and then you don't get the full effect of this preset. So make sure you're changing it based off of the team that you're shooting for. The next thing is gonna be basketball low light. This isn't a low light photo, so it's gonna be hard to kind of show the full benefit of it, but you can see how bright this photo got, right? You can see how bright it is. The exposure is high. The only thing that's different for the most part, high exposure and then the noise reduction, right? So to, to, to eliminate a lot of that grain, those are the only thing that's different between this preset and the other one. This one's just meant for low light photos. Same thing with the changing of the colors, make sure you're taking care of that. Next in line for a preset is going to be the football nighttime photography. Now I actually took some nighttime photography photos yesterday, but once again, since I used this one in the preset pack, like thumbnail, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys it now. Uh, football nighttime, boom, just literally. It's very simple. It's bringing up the exposure while still keeping things very light um, on the grain. You don't want things too, too grainy. So that's pretty, that's not high. For, for noise reduction, I really wouldn't go too much above 30. I think that's a sweet spot. So you just gotta try to play around with it based off of your situation. Next preset, we're gonna run through this quick. We have, uh, what do we wanna do for this one? Let's do Pacifica. 
we'll do Pacifica, right? So Pacifica is like a really bluish, uh, it's pretty bright. It's a really bluish backdrop. It's pretty bright. And you know, that's pretty much all for this preset. That, that, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a, it's a preset that you can use for anything. It's just a vibe, you know, if that's the vibe you want to go for. So we use it right here. It, it, it's, it's based off of the vibe you want to go for, for your photos. Um, let's see how it looks on a nighttime photo. I mean, like, why not, right? I mean, it's a bad photo. I'm not going to use this, but just for the sake of using a preset, let's see how it looks. I don't think it's going to, yeah, I don't like how, hold on, hold on, wait, we might be on a sub. Hey, hold on. Hey, this, these, these, hold on. These might be fire for nighttime photography, low key. Yo, low key, these ain't that bad for, for, for nighttime. These not that bad at all, actually. Okay, we got Pacifica out of the way. The one from the POV video, I had to make sure I gave that one to y'all. So we got the football, vibrant greens and oranges. So if you're on a football field, vibrant greens, vibrant oranges. The only thing that I don't like about this preset pack that I left in was I kept the geometry on auto. This is what I was talking about that may make the workflow a lot, a lot more difficult. So what I would just suggest y'all do, when you download the preset, use it. When you get here, go to auto, click off and resave the preset. So that y'all don't have to keep dealing with that every time. It's annoying as hell. I know. I apologize. But yeah. Next preset, we have Noir, right? Noir tint. So it's really just a, it's really just meant to be like a vibe kind of photo. Like a really, I mentioned Mute Master in that, in that video where I talked about editing how I edit my sports photography. Uh, it's similar to Noir. There we go. That's the best way to explain it. It's kind of like a, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, but I'm going to go to an indoor photo that I took, right? So this here is an example of Noir being used in a setting where you really want to drag a lot of emotion out of a photo. Um, and you know, you just adjust it to however you want it to be. Cause originally this photo looked like this. It's pretty, pretty bland, pretty eh. So this just added a little bit of texture to it, added a little bit of life to it. And that's, that's pretty much, you know, what Noir is doing. It's very situational. It's also based on the way that you want to edit your photos. Just like pretty much the majority of these presets that can go for anything. Um, it's all based on the vibe you're going for. Last but not least, Cool Blues, it kind of speak for itself. I don't know the best photo to kind of try to test it on, so I'll just try to test it on anything. And this is what this gives. And then once again, it's all based off of what you're trying to go for. We'll use it on a couple of different ones though. So let's see how Cool Blues look here. Let's see what we're working with. Cool. Mm. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. So you see what I'm saying? A lot of these presets can 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 be used in very many different situations, and it all depends on the shoot. So what I would best I would best suggest, I mean, if you got some photos and you're trying to figure out the direction to go for you when you edit them, just test a couple things out. Just test a couple of the presets out. Figure out like, you know, that's the whole point of figuring out your editing style. You're going through a bunch of presets. So that's, that's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much all. That's all 10 of the presets. That's how I would use them. That's how to use them. Once again, I would just suggest you go through these and just edit them, edit them on your own. Um, if you guys forgot how to edit photos or how to, if you guys forgot how to edit presets, simply bro, you want to, let's say you change, you want to change that from, for cool blues. You click here, you hold, or you hover over it, right click, update with current settings. Simple. And that way you can go ahead and start to implement your own editing style of things. That's the whole goal for this. Not to copy exactly over the presets. It's to help you guys figure out yourself as a photographer, your own editing style and all that jazz. Remember, that's always the goal. Figure out who you are as a photographer and you want people to, you want people to recognize your work and recognize, oh wait, that's, I know these photos. I, you feel what I'm saying? That's the whole goal. Uh, other than that, Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all the purchases on the presets already. Hopefully I get a couple more from this video here. I apologize this took so long to put out. I wanted to put it out last week. Work has just been hectic. Football season has started. Let me know I'm locked in. Y'all know I'm locked in. Hey, I got, ooh. Okay, well, I got a football game in about an hour, honestly. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Preset link will be in the top link in the description. Right under that will be the merch link in the description. Uh... I'm sorry, pause. That was kind of like, ayo, hey, I don't know. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to stay creative. See you next one. Peace.